Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Buffalo Bayou Park Cistern. My name is Dwindle and I'll be your tour guide for the day. So we are in the Buffalo Bayou Park Cistern. The cistern was built in 1926 to store Houston's drinking water. I want you to look down, you see this brown down here? This is how high the water got during Hurricane Harvey. Seven million gallons of water sat in the cistern for the better part of a month. Now it is one of the projects of Buffalo Bayou Partnership to revitalize Houston's historic waterway. One thing people can expect is for it to be cooler than it is outside. They can also expect a dimly lit space with no windows and a really long echo. And there's a beautiful reflection that makes the columns look like there's a 50 foot drop. It's so cool. It's cavernous and it's all these massive columns that go down into the water. There's an echo when anyone talks. It's kind of a surreal feeling. It's like, am I in a building? Am I underground? There's water. You can't really see the sky. It's a really surreal sort of feeling. When water filled the space up, it filled up the six inches to the roof, and the space held 15 million gallons of water. The space is about 87,500 square feet. That's about one and a half football fields, two acres, and the perimeter around the space is one fourth of a mile. The space was built because Houston needed a place to store water. The city of Houston was founded in 1836 by the Allen brothers. Allen's Landing was the main port and Bayou Water was used as a watershed, meaning it was used for transportation, industrial use, but also for drinking. Before the cistern was built, there were multiple ways of storing water in the city. Houston Waterworks found groundwater into the city. We started using artesian water wells. Bayou water was then used to fight fires and for transportation, but the city just kept growing, so they could not keep up with the capacity. Well, as time went on, uh, they had to start mixing bayou water with other water, which did not go well. In 1925, the city pumped a record 20 million gallons of water, and in 26, construction was completed. So they built the cistern in 1926 to try to store water for the city. The cistern has 221 columns. What you are seeing right here is the reflection of the roof onto the water, making the columns look twice as tall as they actually are. That really helps for the illusion, making it look like there's a 50 foot drop. After 2007, when it was decommissioned, Buffalo Bayou Partnership wanted to find spaces for parking, and they came down one of the hatches and found the cistern, and we converted it into a spot for tours. Not only do we have historical tours in here, but we also have art exhibitions. The first being Rain by Magdalena Fernandez. The second one was called Spatial Chromo Interference by Carlos Cruz Diaz. We give you all white lab coats. You walk around the cistern experiencing light effects on yourself and throughout the cistern. Our current art exhibition is called Time No Longer by Henri Salah. So what you're gonna see is a turntable floating through the International Space Station. What you will hear is a rendition of Olivier Messiaen's quartet for the end of time. Messiaen was a French composer during World War II who later became a prisoner of war. He composed this piece while he was in prison. The saxophone that you hear will be paying homage to Ronald McNair. Ronald McNair was one of the first black astronauts and a professional saxophone player. He wanted to be the first man to get a space and record music, but unfortunately, he was on Space Shuttle Challenger. As we know, the Challenger never made it to space. These two instruments play together, creating an ominous sounding piece, creating feelings of empathy and loss, and the lights will go out to make you feel like you are lost in space. Shenandoah, I long to see you. At the end of my tour, I do a song, usually of Shenandoah, and that's just to show off the echo of the cistern. I like to let people see the acoustics um, by singing. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to see you. Our tour guide stopped and sang a song for us quite professionally. Found a way. And the echo was just magical. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. It was just a really cool experience all around. I think people in the city should come see it because it tells so much history about our city from a sort of industrial standpoint with the water system through to a cultural experience. I would say it's a hidden gem. If you want to learn a little bit more about Houston's water system, most of us don't think about where we get our water from. So if you want to learn a little bit more about that, I would say come here. 